welcome to Fighting Irish Extra. I'm your host, Laura Thomas. I know you all are busy soaking up the sun this weekend, so I'm happy to fill you in on what happened with Irish sports. Let's start with men's tennis. The number 38 men's tennis team squared off against the Clemson Tigers on Friday night. Senior Billy Pecor delivered an electrifying 6-4, 1-6, and 6-0 victory over Luke Johnson at number three singles to clinch the 4-3 ACC victory for the Irish. Notre Dame moves to 5-5 five five in ACC play and 13-9 and overall. The Irish return to the Courtney Tennis Center next Friday and Saturday to wrap up the regular season with matches against Wake Forest and North Carolina State. To women's lacrosse we go and the Irish are on a roll. Notre Dame knocked off number seven Syracuse last week with a thrilling 12 to 11 overtime victory to earn its first ever win at the Carrier Dome. Goalkeeper Liz O'Sullivan with the game changing save in overtime as she stops Syracuse's Kayla Treanor at point blank range. Rachel Sexton and Stephanie Toy both netted hat tricks to help the 13th ranked Irish to their second road win over a top 10 team in just four days. Back home on Sunday, the Irish kept the momentum going as they overwhelmed the Michigan Wolverines by a score of 21 to 12. The women's lacrosse team is back in action on Thursday night against Northwestern. The top ranked men's lacrosse team overturned an early two nothing deficit to capture its fifth straight victory with a 14 to seven win over number 15 Marquette last Tuesday afternoon at Arlotta Stadium. Senior attackman Connor Doyle, the reigning ACC Co-Offensive Player of the Week, paced the Fighting Irish with four goals. The Fighting Irish returned to action on Saturday with a pivotal conference matchup against number four North Carolina right here at Arlotta Stadium. Get out your brooms. It was a huge weekend for the Notre Dame baseball team. The Irish took on seventh ranked Florida State in a three game series at Frank X Stadium and swept the Seminoles right out of South Bend. Friday night, the Irish got a strong outing from sophomore pitcher Ryan Smoyer and this two run homer from Kevin Biggio in the third inning as the Irish went on to take the first game of the series five to two. Saturday in game two, freshman Brandon Belak allowed just one run in seven innings and Ryan Lidge provided the power with a two-run blast as the Irish went on to a 4-1 to one victory. And in the Sunday finale, junior Zach Katsoulis with his solo shot, giving the Irish the early 2-0 lead. Tully promptly strikes out the final two Seminoles, and Notre Dame finishes off the three-game sweep over Florida State with a 2-1 to one win. On Tuesday, the Lady Irish softball team took on Western Michigan at Melissa Cook Stadium. Senior co-captain and two-time All-American Emily Kerner would cross the plate twice, making her the all-time leader in runs scored in the program's history. The historic night ended with an Irish victory of 10-2. On Wednesday, the Butler Bulldogs came to town. Senior Katie House led all players in the 8-0 shutout victory with a 3-4 night at the plate, posting three RBIs while scoring one run. The team hit the road for an ACC weekend series against Boston College. The Irish would be too much to handle in Chestnut Hill, sweeping the Eagles. Sunday's finale would mark the 18th consecutive victory for Notre Dame softball, its 13th straight in conference mashup. That'll do it for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Laura Thomas, and as in all things, go Irish.